Okay, here we are continuing the X650 value X aircraft quadcopter uh, construction or assembly. Now it's time to assemble the landing skids, which is actually very, very easy. We have been given the load mounting pipe mounts, they say, and load mounting pipe fixes or rubbers. Uh, they are named as L3003 and L3004 in these bags, so you can simply uh, first put L3003, which is the load mounting pipe mounts actually, uh, onto the fuselage or frame. Now that you see the lower plate is actually bigger, all right, so you can easily see that here, one, two, three, and four. You can easily mount these load mounting pipe mounts, okay, which is in bag L3003. After those are mounted, you can simply use L3004, the rubber mounting fixers for the pipes on it. And once these are done, uh, there are two uh, bags given with the carbon fiber tubes. One is marked L3002C and L3001C. Once these things are mounted, L3002C will actually go inside these and will fix the landing gear assembly onto these. So basically it will be simply again click and fix. So uh, very very easy to take it off when you are actually storing the quad or carrying it. So it's a very very considerate design. I'm really really loving it. So let us fix this and we will see how things are going. Alright, now you can see that the load mounting pipe mounts, okay, so these are fixed already. Okay, let me uh, put it upside down so we can see it alright here we are one two three and four so uh, once I put it all here so you can see all clearly now I will put the rubber ones inside done and uh, now we have the L300 C, which should be, uh, let me see, uh, right here. So this is the ba bag L3002C, these pipes. And they will simply go inside. And they also have their caps, okay, also marked X aircraft, awesome. If you are a neat and clean assembly guy, you will move them, rotate them to keep the X aircraft in the right orientation to read. Alright, okay, so this one is done and now we can mount the assembly on top of it. So mounting was pretty easy, just move it a little bit inwards and fix it on to these carbon fiber tubes make sure you don't use too much force you do hear some cracking but uh, if you don't use too much force they should fit nicely on these tubes now this is one is fit we pick up the other bag L3001C and mount those on the bottom part of this landing skids Very nice, very sweet. So far, uh, it was it was a very very easy experience to assemble this quad, and uh, nothing is complicated. Nothing is that you don't understand. You would actually get confused. The uh, looking at the user manual, it's actually very easy to understand. But the diagrams actually make it look very very complicated. But when it comes to assemble it, this one is really really easy. And now I can see that taking off the landing assembly and folding it, it is really, really very easy and very uh, space convenient for us to carry this X650 quad if we are moving around. Okay, rest of the things, sweet, sweet, sweet. I mean, the quality of all the parts that I have been using so far to assemble this are simply amazing, simply superb. Now, my camera battery is finishing, my own battery is finishing, I need to get to bed. And what we will do next on this video series is that we will install the electronics, flight controller, AHRS, 
GPS, autopilot, compass and everything. And of course we will install the propellers and we will give it our first flight and see how this thing is behaving. After our first hovers or first flight is gone right, we will actually uh, configure, uh, recalibrate, configure the quadcopter flight controller using the software provided and then we will program the software for the auto return to home features and see how everything will finally work on the finished product. Enjoy! I'm gonna head to bed and fall inside.